The American Heart Association's Heart Saver First Aid Online with CPR and AED Part 1 course provides a cognitive portion of training to employees or designated first responders. Part 1 includes an online series of modules that cover first aid basics and medical, injury, and environmental emergencies, as well as CPR and AED use. As you will see on the introductory page, there are 39 exercises. This includes 28 required first aid modules, 6 required first aid review question sets, and 3 required case-based scenarios to cover adult and child CPR. These required modules are indicated by the red boxes. Two optional modules cover infant CPR. You may work through the modules in any order you choose. When you're finished and log off, each exercise is saved automatically and marked as complete on the course homepage. This lets you track your progress. The exercises also include optional videos integrated into the modules that you can view for more detailed information. Throughout the course, students also make decisions about emergency action through case-based scenarios. For instance, let's look at the exercise titled Victim and Rescuer Safety. After you read the scenario, navigate forward to learn the purpose of a lesson and answer an interactive challenge question. Even if you answer correctly, you can get an explanation of why another answer is not correct. As you continue to navigate forward, you'll learn more about the topic and at the end be reminded of a critical skill that you'll be tested on later. You'll have the option of going to the video library to review a demonstration of this skill. After completing an exercise, simply click on the Course Homepage link. It will take about two to three hours to complete this online cognitive part of the course. You do not need to complete the course in one sitting. You may use the Click Here to Log Out button when you want to end a session. Then simply log back in using the email address and the password you chose during registration. When you've completed all the exercises, you'll be able to move on to the review question test. The test is mandatory and must be completed in one session. After you successfully complete the test and course evaluation, click on the certificate link on the My Courses page and print the certificate. Then take the certificate to Part 2 and Part 3 of the course, the Skills Session and Skills Test. In Part 2, you will participate in a first aid and a CPR and AED practice session with an American Heart Association Skills Evaluator. In Part 3, you will complete a skills test to demonstrate skill competency for CPR and AEDs. If you don't successfully complete the online test, print out the course homepage. It shows the listing of exercises and will show the test wasn't successfully completed. Bring that to the skills session. The skills evaluator will arrange for you to get help. You'll have access to this material for one year after completing the course, so you can review the material as often as you wish.